This conference will now be recorded. Hi, welcome to Cost of Attendance. My name is Christina Winstead, and I'm the Assistant Director for Outreach at the Washington Student Achievement Council. I work with the 12th Year Campaign. This is part of a series of videos that help with Financial Aid Advising Day, and so we're going to talk a little bit about a cost of attendance and award letters today. You're going to learn about the direct cost of attendance, indirect cost of attendance, and the total cost of attendance. There are other videos in this series to help you with things like award letters, navigating, verification, how to apply. This series is to help you understand the financial aid process so that you can fund your post-secondary goals. So why is this important? This is important because you need to know how much your post-secondary education is going to cost. It can be scary if you don't know the total cost when you go into it. So knowing how much it costs can help you make informed decisions about which school you're going to go to, about different scholarships you might want to apply for. The biggest thing is knowing the actual cost of school. And so it's pretty simple. When we look at it, and we're going to talk more about these, your total cost of attendance is two things, your direct costs and your indirect costs. Your direct costs are things like your school's tuition and fees. If you're gonna be living in uh, residential housing, your on-campus housing, this will also count typically your room and board. These are all your direct costs. Direct costs are costs that you really can't negotiate with. These are costs that are pretty much set and paid to the school. So your tuition, you can't haggle on. You can't haggle on fees, and you're not going to be able to haggle on uh, housing costs on campus. The only way you can make it a little cheaper is if you like share a room versus a single suite, things like that. But most of your direct costs, you can't really do too much to impact. Your indirect costs, on the other hand, you can. Your indirect costs are things like your books, personal expenses, transportation costs, like bus passes, insurance, things like that. These are all typically costs that are not paid to the school. Why I say that you can kind of finagle these costs a little different is because you can decide to buy used books instead of new. You can use a bus pass instead of having a car at school to reduce costs. For your personal costs, you can decide that you want to take out a little bit less and maybe you're going to be more frugal. There are different ways for your indirect costs that you can really save because they're not paid directly to the school. So you want to think about what the real costs are. For your direct costs, we know that those are going to be already kind of set. But those indirect costs, what do you really want versus what do you need? I'm going to start with the expectation that you're going to set for yourself for post-secondary, for college, may be impacted by media. So you may see a lot of stuff in movies and shows where students are going to college and they're going out every night. They eat out every day. They never even eat at the cafeteria. They're always at restaurants or at some sort of cafe. They're never studying. These are all things that are not realistic about college. Um, you will probably save more money if you uh, use your meal plan, things like that. So think about what do you want from your experience versus what you need, because what you want is going to be what you're going to pay for more versus what you need. I always tell students when they're looking at how much does it cost to go to college to be very frugal, because there's a lot of things that will help offset those costs. One way to learn more about the cost of college is using our college knowledge chapters. This is a chapter about paying for college. It comes in English, Spanish, Vietnamese, Somali, and Russian. And then, of course, we also have Otter. Otter is a free texting service that helps you navigate the financial aid process for college and career. You can access Otter 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If you have a question that you want to ask Otter, just text it in. You can start by texting Otter by saying, hi, Otter, to 360-928-7281, and Otter can help you. So your next steps, your next steps are to determine the cost of attendance at the schools that you're interested in. So look at the cost of tuition and fees and books, but also when you go on their website, look at what their indirect costs are gonna be. They will have set costs for students for indirect costs that you may not need that much for. For example, I had a student that had an indirect cost for transportation that was $900, but the student only needed a city bus pass. They didn't have a car, they weren't gonna get a car, uh, and they wanted to use the city bus pass which was free with their student fees. So they didn't need to take out that $900 in uh, a loan, which is what they're being offered. They end up taking $100 out in a loan as an emergency fund for lifts and uh, ride shares, things like that, just in case they needed a safe way to get home. 
really great way to compromise on what that cost is going to be. So determine your cost of attendance. Determine your potential savings by um, looking at different opportunities. Maybe you're going to rent those textbooks. Maybe you're not going to buy brand new ones. Maybe you're going to buy used ones. Maybe you're going to rent technology. Whatever you're going to do to kind of save some money. And then find scholarships that may make that cost of attendance more affordable. So if you know that you love the school that you want to go to, you're very excited about going there, but maybe the cost is a little high, look at different scholarships that might make that cost a little better for you. Thank you so much for learning about cost of attendance. We encourage you to check out our entire series of videos for Financial Aid Advising Day. And if you have any questions, please let us know.